but I can speed now. I'm under grace. <laughs> this is the philosophy some churches have. They think Jesus died to buy us a license to sin. Just confess it every now and then to the priest. You got a free record to fill up with sin. No, I put my blinker on. I look both ways. <laughs> I took a hanky out and cleaned off the rearview mirror <laughs> so I could see the next policeman. <laughs> And I slowly, I waited until there was no traffic 500 yards in any direction, <laughs> right? And I pulled out and I went 52 and a half miles an hour. Why? Because I'm under grace. I was more careful than ever because he had mercy on me. I did not want to insult his mercy. Amen. And those who think we can continue in sin after Jesus died to save us from our sin, it is an insult. They're counting the blood of Christ as an unclean thing. God wants us to keep the Ten Commandments. Are God's law and Moses' law the same? Now, there's a distinction that's made in the Bible. Notice this. In Deuteronomy 4.13, Moses' last sermon before he dies, he's reciting when they got the Ten Commandments. So he declared to you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even the Ten Commandments, and he wrote them on two tables of stone. Notice it goes on and it says, and the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments. Do you see a distinction here between the Ten Commandment Law and the Law of Moses? Amen. Notice the difference. Ten Commandment Law written by who? God. Amen. Ceremonial Law written by? Moses. Ten Commandment Law written by the finger of God. Ceremonial Law written by the hand of Moses. Ten Commandment Law spoken by God's voice audibly. Ceremonial Law spoken by Moses. Ten Commandment Law put in the ark. Ceremonial Law outside the ark. Did God make a distinction? Amen. We should make a distinction, not lump it all together. So what is the difference between the old and the new covenants? Very important to understand this. He declared unto you his covenant that he commanded you to perform even the Ten Commandments, and he wrote them on two tables of stone. The Ten Commandments were the covenant that God made. When the people, when Moses came down the mountain, people heard the law of God, they said, all the Lord has said, we will do. But after Moses came down the mountain, were they doing it? Or had they forgotten already? They made a golden calf and they probably broke all ten commandments. There was a fault with that. That's why the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8, for finding fault with them. Does it say finding fault with the law or with them? Those who made the covenant had a fault. Nothing wrong with the law. So then he makes a new covenant. Hebrews 8, verse 8, I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, the Lord says. And again, you can read it in Jeremiah. Oh, by the way, you find the new covenant in the Old Testament. Jeremiah 31, 33, but this is a covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds and write them on their hearts. So you tell me, the Old Covenant, was the law part of the Old Covenant? Yes. The people said, all the Lord has said, we will do. It was their promise, a bad promise. New covenant, God says, is based on better promises. God says, I will write it in their hearts. It's based on his promise. Old covenant written on stone. New covenant written where? Is it a different law or the same law? Same law, just written in a different place. Nothing wrong with the law. It's just and holy and good. For this is the covenant that I will make, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write them in their hearts. This is what it means to be filled with the Spirit of God. You know, every time we think that sin doesn't matter, we're advertising for the devil. We're embracing the torture of Jesus. It hurts the Lord. God would never ask you to do something without giving you the power to do it. Amen, friends? Inherent in all the commands of God are the power to obey. Would you like to ask for the power of the blood tonight to wash you from your sin, to be a doer of the word? Father in heaven, we believe we have heard the truth from your two witnesses tonight, the law and the prophets, that your word does not change, that it is written in stone. Tonight we would also like to ask that thy law of love be written in our hearts. Help us to embrace the new covenant. Be with all these people who are watching. I know that they're struggling in their lives as we all do with sin. I pray that we can experience salvation. We ask in Jesus' name.
stay tuned. Pastor Doug will be right back with this week's special free offer. World events have never been more unstable than today. Terrorism, disasters, bizarre weather. What does the Bible reveal about future events? Learn the amazing answer in this stunning 43-minute documentary entitled The Final Events of Bible Prophecy. During this special broadcast, you can get your very own copy of this gripping DVD free. You pay only $6.95 for shipping and handling. Go to the phone and call the number on your screen. Don't miss out on this special offer. If you've been encouraged by today's message and would like to know more of what God's Word says to you today, Amazing Facts invites you to visit our educational website at www.bibleuniverse.com. At Bible Universe, you'll discover exciting truths that will fill you with peace and purpose. The mysteries of the Bible will unfold for you at your own pace. Visit www.bibleuniverse.com today. Expand your universe. Amazing Facts Ministry has been broadcasting the gospel since 1966 when it aired its first radio program in Baltimore, Maryland. Elder Joe Cruz was the speaker director for more than 30 years. At that time, no one dreamed that Amazing Facts would become a multifaceted worldwide ministry. The heartbeat of the gospel pulsating from this ministry is heard today on radio, television, the internet, the Correspondence Bible School, the publishing ministry, and local and worldwide evangelism. Pastor Doug Batchelor stepped into the leadership of the ministry after Joe Cruz died in 1994. Currently, Amazing Facts is on more than 100 TV stations and 11 satellite and cable networks throughout the United States, Europe, Australia, Central and South America, the Middle East, and Asia. For more information, call 1-800-835-6906. Friends, we've been talking today about a subject that has been terribly distorted in modern times. It's absolutely crucial that we understand the relationship between law and grace as it's portrayed in God's Word. The Ten Commandments, written by God's own hand, are the very cornerstone of His government. Yet it seems that many, even among believers, would like to see them done away with. To help you understand this important topic, we've chosen a special gift we'd like to send you absolutely free. It's a study guide entitled, Written in Stone, and in it we'll share even more important Bible truth regarding the law of God. Just call the toll-free number on your screen and ask for offer number 111. If you prefer, you can simply write us at Amazing Facts, offer number 111, P.O. Box 1058, Roseville, California, 95678. Well, that's all the time we have today for this edition of Amazing Facts Presents. Until we meet again, remember the words of Jesus, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. This is your last chance to take advantage of this week's special free offer. There is no cost or obligation. Just call the toll-free number on your screen and be sure to note the offer number when you make your request. Just pick up the phone and dial 877-232-2871. 